I'm going to show you how to transfer files such as your photos and videos directly from your iPhone 13 or any of the iPhone 13s to any Apple computer, MacBook, MacBook Pro, iMac, simply by using the charging cable and not using iTunes. So we're going to be using the uh, charging cable. Now take note, the charging cable that comes with the iPhone 13s is like this. Okay, It's a uh, USB-C to a Lightning Okay, the thing is, I don't have a USB-C connector on my MacBook, okay, so my other option is I can just use another um, lightning cable, a USB-A to a lightning, or what I can do is I can use this original cable that came with the iPhone 13, but I have to use an adapter, this little uh, USB-C to a uh, USB-A adapter, okay, I'll put links uh, below where you can get this or uh, these charging cables if you wish, okay, anyway, I'll just use this one here. Let's plug the USB-C part into the adapter here. And on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and plug into my HD or my USB port. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab my iPhone 13 here. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and log in. So let me go ahead and sign into my phone right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, um, the Photos app. So let me zoom in here. And you can see the photo app just like on the iPhones is right there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on this photos right there. Now, if I look on the left side, you should see iPhone 13. Okay, if I go ahead and uh, let me uh, let me zoom in a little bit, you can see iPhone 13 here on the side. Now, if I unplug it, unplug it, it disappears. Let me go ahead and plug it back in. I'll plug it back in, and now I'll give it one second, and we'll see iPhone 13 right there. Okay, so go over here, tap on iPhone 13. Now, the thing is, is uh, sometimes you'll get a message on your phone that says trust this computer. If it does, just look at your phone and then tap on trust, okay? Anyway, I tap on here. Now, you can see, now down here, these are all the photos and videos that I currently have on my iPhone 13, okay? Now, from here, it's not like I can drag and drop it where I want. I can't drag and drop it because we first have to import it. So from here, Go ahead and choose the photos or videos that you want. So let's just say I want this one, this one, this one, and this one. You can see that they're they're checked. Let me zoom in. So they're checked, okay? So now what I can do is uh, import to, okay? So you can go ahead and create a, a new album and whatnot to import everything there. But I'm just going to leave it on the default on the library here, okay? And now I'm just going to go ahead and import those four that I selected here. I'll pick another one. Now it's import five selected, okay? So now it's going to go ahead and I'll go ahead and tap import five selected right there. And then right here, now here are my, um, the five files, what are the videos that I just imported, okay? And don't, now it went from iPhone 13, as soon as you import it, it jumps up to here, imports, okay? So now this is all saved to your hard drive on your um, Apple computer. Now you can go ahead and move this somewhere else if you want. You can put like this photo on the desktop. You can just drag and drop it now. And you can go ahead and drop it and it's right there. Now what I typically do is um, I'll just create a new folder right here and I'll call this one like, I'll just leave it untitled folder. And then I'll go ahead and highlight all my photos and videos and I'll just drag and drop this new folder in the desktop called untitled folder. And I'll go ahead and let that transfer. Okay, it says uh, export complete, five files exported. Now I can go ahead and I can just go ahead and unplug my iPhone 13 and it says untitled folder, I can double click on that and voila, so here's the uh, photos and videos, the five photos and videos that are now in a folder on my desktop. Now I can go ahead and edit the videos, email them, uh, what not so pretty simple any uh, questions or issues just comment below and this is the same process for the uh, even the iPhone 11 12 as well as the 13 all right good luck guys bye